Hello everyone, uh, this tutorial will be how to make a cavity in SOLIDWORKS in order to prep it for importation into StarCCM. So, uh, when you make a cavity, what you're doing is you are basically, think of it as like a negative mold of your part, and then um, you put that in StarCCM. So, what we're going to do is first, in order to make cavities, you have to do this in an assembly. So, um, in this case, I'm just going to make an assembly for this tutorial. Now, uh, the assembly you will be using is the CFD, um, the CFD assembly for the car. Now, I'm going to go. This is going to be a front wing from last year, so I'm going to go and import this in. Um, and then, so first thing you need to do when you import it into your assembly, well, right there, I just made this float so it can move it around. Um, that may not happen in yours, but if you find that you can't um, move your part at all, like it's fixed right click it and see if it's fixed or not and if the float option is there that means it's fixed now I can move it around freely but first thing you're going to do always 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 in that master assembly is mate the origin of your part to the origin of the assembly this way you know that it's in place and this way it is is fixed in space now what you're going to do next is you are going to make a new part in the assembly, oops, I chose the wrong one. Well, actually, no, that's right. So, sorry. Uh, insert, make a new part in the assembly. Hit OK, or click onto the assembly so you're in here, right? So now we have this part. Again, first thing before you do anything at all is you mate the origin of this part to the origin of the assembly. So, let's do that. And again, make sure that uh, when you Oops, sorry, I should say coincidence and line axes. I used the wrong mate initially. My bad. Um, let's go fix that real quick. Actually, no, it's fine. It's coincident. Yeah, so make sure it's coincident. Axes are aligned. There you go. Now, you're going to edit the part in the assembly. Make sure you're editing the part and not the assembly itself. Otherwise, that's going to cause some issues. So have the part highlighted. Hit edit, edit component. The part you're editing is blue. See that now? So you're doing that, right? So let's go ahead and make this cavity. So in this case, we need to sketch on the right plane of the part. So again, make sure you're choosing the plane of the part, not the plane of the assembly or plane of another part. It's blue. So do that. Um, just going to ma arbitrarily make this um, because it's a tutorial. So I think we had two inches of ground clearance last year. It's what we planned for, and then. When you're building, when you're doing this for the full car assembly, you need at least three car lengths in front and um, four car or five car lengths behind. Uh, so I'm kind of just eyeballing this now to what looks right to me. Um, kind of following that rule of three, three and five, and then about three, about five car heights uh, above. Uh, it can go a little lower, I think. Cool. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to extrude this. So, um, you only need to do half, as long as the part's symmetrical, you only need half of the body. You don't need the full thing, because that's just going to waste time. In, in Star CCM, you can just make a symmetry plane here, and um, that'll take care of that issue. So, we're going to do that. Now you can see we have this part and this part, right? So, they look intersecting, which is what we want. So, we're going to go up here to Tools. We're going to go... Or sorry, we're going to go to Insert, Features, and then Cavity right here. So, because we're adding this part already, it know SolidWorks knows that we want to make a cavity out of this part. Design Components is saying, now, what part do we want to make a cavity of? In this case, we're going to choose the front wing. Select OK. There we go. Now, if we hide the front wing, you'll see that there is like basically a negative now. And we can verify this by changing the view up here to wireframe. And you can see, indeed, we have the front wing cavity made. Now, when you save this, well, I need to save this assembly, I guess. Um, let's save the assembly first. Uh, let's go to here, my local folder. Um, cavity tutorial. And so when you make a part and you save an assembly, it's going to ask you, do you want to save internally or externally? I always say save the part externally because this allows you to specify the path so that way you can find the part itself. So save externally, 
and you can change the path. In this case, this is fine. This is my local folder, but in this case, you'll put it wherever you need to um, in the GrabCAD document. And let's change the part name real quick. Well, that's nah, fine. Part 2 is fine. Um, you'll want to rename the part before you save it, so that way you avoid that. But this is the tutorial. I kind of overlooked that, but yeah. So now, when you save this, what you need to do is... So we saved as a SOLIDWORKS assembly, right? But for importation to ANSYS, it needs to be a Parasolid file, which is this .xt file right here. Parasolid, and save. Um, no, don't worry about that. Um, well, actually, so, ooh. Actually, yeah, so you can either save the assembly like that, or what you can do is you can go ahead and just open the part itself, and... Give it a sec. So we have the part itself. And save. Save as a copy. And save the part itself as a parasolid. I'd recommend saving the part itself as a parasolid rather than um, uh, the entire assembly as a parasolid. That's an option. But um, as you saw, when I saved the assembly as a parasolid, it wanted to see if I want the suppressed items to be resolved or not. That means, do you want to show it in the final file or no? Um, that kind of can complicate things when you have a lot more parts, so just save the cavity part itself as the parasolid. But in the future, if you do more advanced things or different things, you may want to do that. So that's just an option. Um, so we can close out of that. Uh, we didn't really change anything, so all works like to make it sound like you did. So don't worry about that. And we now have a parasolid file. So that's the end of that.